June of 2021. We unfortunately had to become reluctant warriors when our child was removed from our home after DCS became involved in our family life. When our son was removed, it was like someone pulled the rug out from underneath us. Um, as a father, I believe one of my main goals is to keep my children safe. And I can't do that when the state comes into our house and takes our kid because we can't in good conscience affirm his transgender ideology. His disappearance made a, a huge hole in our hearts and our family, but we will always love him and pray for him. Our child was out of our home for 17, 18 months altogether, ultimately aging out of the foster care system. We were able to visit with him at his discretion, basically for about two to three hours each week. Though so we pushed constantly for additional engagement, um, attended family therapies. Um, we were never able to have an agreement for additional time with him. So as a mom, having limited access to your children is it's heart-wrenching. I miss his laugh. I miss being with him, talking with him about everyday things, teaching him how to bake, how to cook different things. There's so many things that we are to our children, not just their first teachers, but basically their first loves. And to miss out on that during such formative time in his life, we'll never get that time back. We didn't pursue an affirmational approach with our child because first, as Christians, we believe God created us as male and female. And as parents, it's our job to help our children to reach their full potential. And the only way we feel to do that is to raise our children through our Christian beliefs. Secondly, we didn't go with the affirmational approaches because we did a lot of research on this subject. There's, there are many different approaches. We spoke to multiple mental health care providers and ultimately decided that affirmation was not going to help our child. In our experience, this is not an isolated incident. There are a number of families here in Indiana experiencing the same issues that we've gone through. The mental health support services that we experienced were very much following an agenda towards affirmation only, which for our family was not going to resolve our child's issues. We are speaking out about this case now because parental rights need to be protected in Indiana. Our family should have never had to go through this. We don't want any other family in Indiana to go through it either. Parental rights must be protected in both law and culture. This should not happen to anyone else. 